Joseph Green Mountain Gold Trap headed back up into the Northeast Kingdom. I'm in Woodstock again. And it's under construction and they got signs out that says slow. Well, speed limit here is 25. I think that's slow enough, don't you? <laughs> back in a bit. No rest. No, no. I've been down so long that my mind can't get no rest. No, no. This ain't easy, darling. Cause the devil was on my trail. I've been running. back home up north and I was gonna take you through the process but I got here mom was gone shopping and dad was here and we just got right to work <laughs> so you won't see it all back in a bit all right so this is the project I came up for whoever they had put the liner in last time did a horrible job all the corners were not tight they weren't corners they were rounded and eventually it just fails so they've already ordered a new liner a nicer one it's different than this so I'm here to prep the concrete prep this metal rim around the top of the pool it's going to be painted one color and the concrete around the pool is going to be painted another color dad and I just got done edging all the way around got that done and it'll be uh, cross between wire brushing sweeping and pressure washing everything hopefully we can get this diving board cleaned up and we got all this this was horrible over here but we got it edged all the way along Got a few cracks to repair. It heaved up in this corner. And a couple other cracks here and there, but you'll see it step by step, I guess. And I do have my drone with me. Get some aerial footage too for my parents and for the video. Catch you on the next one.
race night we did, um, we got to be running a lot, but it, I came down to sweep, and I realized, oh shoot, we've still got to do the crack, so, while eating, getting eaten alive by those black flies, those little black bastards, um, Dad and I mixed up a bunch of the, uh, mortar mix stuff that seals cracks and got that taken care of. This was the worst one. We had to chisel some of it out and filled it right in, made the end nice. Got another one up here. One he decided not to do and I kind of wish we did. This one's done. We should have done that one because it's a little bit wide, especially right here. But little stuff like on the ends there where it V's off, that product Conflex is what we're going to use. I'm not a big fan of Sherwin-Williams product at all, especially their house paints, but apparently they've got a concrete paint that people who deal with concrete swear by, and so that's why we're getting it. Um, right now I'm working with the uh, pressure washer to get the, get the diving board cleaned up. Got a little bit already. Dad's gone to get some uh, chlorine cleaning product. And we're going to mix it and try to get the rest of it cleaned up nice. But I'm getting the worst off while he's gone. Back in a bit. <laughs>
diving board's been done for a while. I got that whole back stretch all the way to the fence done, all the way around, all the way around here, all the way down, and all the way over to where the end of the pressure washer wand is. That seam right there in front of the wand. So it's just from there to there. Finish the concrete. And then tomorrow, it'll be, I'll be doing the trim first and I'm going to do the the base of the diving board the same color as the trim and then of course the actual concrete itself is going to be a lighter color to match the the liner <coughs> well both colors match the liner but so it's coming along good on the finishing stretch here for prep work and that is your most important part is prep you absolutely it's the worst part it's the part I hate the most but if you want your job to come out good then you better damn well prep it good and that's what I do this is what I used to do for a living well houses houses and decks and so on and so forth but same thing painting is painting just different product <laughs> comes the rain <laughs> yeah where where I'm from apparently they got hit pretty hard and they're calling for 60 mile an hour winds here just like it was down there and 
fairly good sized hail. There's a hummingbird. Nice. So, done in the nick of time. Tomorrow's another day. And a quick stop at the campground to drop off some lawn furniture and little refrigerator. Now it's off to get the, the paint. Alright, so this is the plan. Stenos. Is this going to work in the sun, full sun like this? Let's try to move it over in the shade. There we go, that's a little better. So, this is the liner. This is the liner. Doing the concrete in that color and this rim around the pool in that color. And that's what I'm going to work on now. reach my goal for the day but that's just one coat so far I'm gonna cut the concrete because it's porous it's gonna be harder to cut so I'll cut the con concrete two coats around this rim and then if I hit the rim I can always well I gotta coat it again anyway so the uh, diving board base is done don't quite like the looks of that. Of course, you, it looks good from here, but if you get up close, you can see the brush marks. It's kind of unavoidable with something like that. Well, all the way around. And my mother's already getting supper ready, so I don't want to start cutting the concrete now. A little too late. But anyway, tomorrow's another day. Once the cutting's done, it's going to roll quick. All right.
right, the cutting with the conflex made by Sherwin Williams has been has begun. Um, now, any time I've worked with customers and they wanted to use Sherwin Williams, I've told them no. You're either going to have to get somebody else or go with a better product because I refuse to use that stuff. However, they've made a good product for concrete. I've researched it out before I came up to do this, and it was the top one rated by another YouTuber who does concrete work and paints concrete and patches concrete and so on and so forth. This is what he uses. Can't remember his name. Um, but anyway, their regular paint, it's all in the pigmentation in the factory when they make it, and it's just, it's just no good. It's just no good. You end up doing three coats or more because it's so thin. It's like, it's like painting with milk. It's ridiculous. But apparently this stuff is really good. Um, I kind of wish now that I had painted or did the cut line with the conflex first and then did the trim after the fact. Um, now I've painted concrete before with other products successfully but I've never had to do it with a, with a trim, a border of any sort. There's no trim. Um, so it's just a learning curve. Um, so if you ever have to do something like this I would highly recommend because you're dealing with a porous surface doing your cut line first and then doing your trim after the fact. But it's gonna look good. It's gonna look good. I'll have to, uh, I only did one coat on the trim so far, knowing after I got started that I should have done it the other way around. Um, but once I get that on there, it'll, it'll tighten it up and it'll make it look good. It'll all be good in the end. So I'm gonna get back to it. This stuff's fun to work with. <laughs> it's really thick really thick stuff Yes, I can cut with both hands. Gave me an advantage over everybody else I've ever worked with. I'd get up on a ladder and they'd have to keep moving their ladder. Me, I'd just go over as far as I could with this hand and go over as far as I could with this hand. <laughs> as far I don't want to tip on a better cut line keep your bristles right on the surface don't lift them up and of course like I said this is extremely porous so I'm having to hit the trim but I've got to get that product right over to this trim so that's why I'm doing it that way I just put my bristles right down and leave them right on. Don't lift them up. Second cut and I'm almost all the way around and this is much faster. You only have to get close. Much faster. 
again I'm leaving my bristles pretty much on the surface without lifting them up. Not faster. way so gotta go all right Saturday morning the day of completion last night I finished at about well might as well say quarter past eight um, I did all the cracks as well but the outer cut and the inner cut is done two coats all the cracks are good and filled so today it's Doing all the rolling. Take a quick walk around so you get a look at it. I'll do all the rolling today. Painted the, uh, well, I think I already mentioned that, but the base of the uh, diving board, and I do not. <laughs> that blue is going to look absolutely ridiculous. But anyway, with that new liner, <coughs> I've already swept this off and stuff's coming back on. That new liner is going to match very nicely. It's going to look good. Alright, back to where we started. Time for me to get busy.
two coats all the way around on the concrete. Now it's time to tighten up the trim again. see what a finished cut line looks like first of all I've got a swept off brush you see a lot of people when they paint they dip their brush and they go like this and then they paint that's not the way you do it you would tap it off just lightly tap it on the side of the can so you still have paint on there so in this case I only need one side so the first thing I'm gonna do is get rid of some of the excess because if you don't it'll beat up on the edge you're cutting and then only bring it so far you know I'm feathering this way because I'm starting up against a joint here but once I move a little bit further down I'll be feathering back into my work right now. did this for many years I want my brush marks all going in a nice straight line so I started let me get my shadow on it I started right there where that knuckle is and worked my way around 
and I'm all the way over to that joint now so I just have one section to go but this is what it looked like that cut line when I cut this because it was so porous I ended up getting it on the uh, rim around the pool but I had to I had no choice but that's what it looks like now nice fresh cut line nice and tight even where the concrete takes a little dip in nice and tight like it look at that nice clean cut line that's what you want alright so once I finish that one last section I'm done and this liner needs to get the hell out of here because it just doesn't go <laughs> I just wish I could be here to take a final final shot of what it's gonna look like with the new liner maybe I'll bring that book down and set it set it on here somewhere next to the trim and the concrete and show you the picture of the uh, the new liner that's gonna be installed here pretty quick back in a bit all right I got the book I got the book and I should have brought that thing to Neil on so there is the the color of the new liner of course this is the top obviously and then this goes down into the deeper part of the pool but that's and that's how it's gonna look matched it up pretty good to the lighter pebbles and then this is matched to the darker color that goes around those diamonds I think it's gonna look pretty sweet this liner needs to go don't you know And something needs to be done with that diving board. That just does not work, that blue. <laughs> it doesn't work at all. Oh, well. All right, folks. My job here is done. I got to get on the road. It's after 5 already. I don't really want to be driving. Well, once I get further south, I don't have to worry about moose. But up here, <laughs> you don't really want to be on the road at night because... A moose will mess up your day, your vehicle, and your life. So, I thank you all for watching. Thanks for coming along. A little bit different of a video, but like I said, this is what I used to do for a living. And I, I'm glad I don't need more. I mean, if my parents asked me to come up and do another one for them, I would. But I really don't, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't want to paint anymore. <laughs> but I'll do it for family. So, anyway, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. We'll take one last aerial flight around before the video ends. Catch you later, buddy.
protection and my safe protection I will always be around